I, I got one, one of my friends, the same age of me, we were like 14 years, we just started and uh, we went to the school and I met my teacher, Ricardo Marx, that the one who gave me all my belts. And they asked him, how is this kid over here? And he was like, how old are you? And I was like, 14. And you, my friend, 14 too. Uh-huh. So this kid is going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 5 o'clock. And I was like, oh, are you, but is there a class right here? Yes. We're going to start Monday. The class is going to be you and you. So. He just started the like kids and juvenile class with me and my friend. Before he just had adult class, and we saw he saw us like small guys, and he was like, "No, I have to open a new class for that." So it was very nice. I started on my hometown, Juiz de Fora, with my teacher Ricardo Marx, and I since. And I stayed there since 2001 until 2008, the end of 2008. When I finished my college about business, I got the black belt in the same time. My, my teacher gave me the black belt in the same time. So he was the guy that told him, Bernardo, if you want to follow Jiu Jitsu and if you want to do Jiu Jitsu as a living, I think now is the time for you to find something bigger because it was like a, a small town and uh, he was affiliated on Brazilian top team but Brazilian top team at that time was more focused about MMA. So it was very nice because he would want the better for me and he told me if I was you, I would go to Sao Paulo to train Fabio Gurgel in Alliance because I think currently they have the best team in Brazil. So I went to Alliance with the support of my teacher. So I still consider him teacher. And currently I consider I have three teachers, Ricardo, Fabio, Gurgel, and Marcelo Garcia. So I'm, I'm very fortunate about that. Man, uh, it was a very good time to stay on Fabio's side because he taught me a lot on the mat and out of the mat as well. He, He's like my mentor in Jiu Jitsu because uh, I always try to have him as a mirror because he's very, very successful like on the mat and out of the mat. And uh, he's a very good coach, very good, uh, uh, was a very good athlete. He's a very good business guy about Jiu Jitsu, he has a very successful school, like Marcelo, you know, he's the same like Marcelo. He doesn't have the ego, you know, so it's a, it's a very nice guy to be around. You know? He's exactly like Marcel, you know. I still think I, I, I'm not good. I think if you think you are good, you stop to improve. So I still think I'm not good and I have to train more and more. Uh, when I started to win the tournaments, that started to, gave me, to give me confidence to keep going. You know? so, when I got second place in the words as a juvenile, I was like, man, I can do this well. And I would say that as a purple belt, I won the words in the open class. And I think that was the point that I told myself, okay, that's gonna be my job forever. I'm gonna do this and then I have, I have to be good on black belt as well. That was a hard time for me because I'm some very like traditional family and I have two brothers older than me, and one is doctor, the other one is engineer. And to convince my father that I could do jiu-jitsu as a living well, it was very hard. That's why he, he forced me to do college. And I was supposed to do civil engineer college, but I saw this cat that was too big, and I was like, no, I cannot do this. I'm not going to be able to conciliate training and study. So I did business that the schedule was smaller. So thanks God I was able like, to conciliate very well like the college and my career. And when I finished my college, coincidence, same time I got the black belt, it was like the end of 2008. I'm never gonna forget this year in my life. 
And after that, I started to do like jiu-jitsu really full time. I didn't have to worry about anything, only train. Uh, I think uh, everyone knows Marcelo. You know? he's, I think he's the, 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 the who has the best resume in jiu-jitsu ever. I think he's five times world champion, four times ABCC champion. You know? So I always knew him. You know, since like. 2000. I know all his his resume. I, one day he was even like surprised. I was like, Marcel, I know all your titles since blue belt until black belt. And he was like, oh. So I always hear about him. But when I moved to Alliance and first time I really talked with him, I remember it was in 2007 when I was not Alliance. I just saw him in the tournament. I was like, man, I'm in front of you. But in 2009 when I when I did one camp in Atlanta, I could train for him, I could hang out with him. And I always liked him because he's so humble, you know, and, and that's how I, I am as well. So I think that's why we are doing very well together, you know, because... Fabio suggested me, he was needing a teacher, and Fabio suggested, suggested him to invite me. And, and I think probably because of this, you know, I think he, he knew who, who I was, and probably he heard about he heard about that as well. And I'm I'm excited like thing about this. You know? I'm very humble. I, I always try to treat everyone in the same way. You know, doesn't matter who is the guy. If the guy is rich, poor, good in jiu-jitsu, bad in jiu-jitsu, uh, for me everyone is the same. You know? So I, I always try to treat people very well, and that's how Marcel is. You know, so I think we combine it a lot about this. And do you love Jiu-Jitsu as well, you know, so... In Sao Paulo there were more black belts and uh, here is just about time, you know. I, I consider that I can have the same level of training that I had in Sao Paulo. Just one, one belt lower, you know. Here most of the tough guys are brown belts and in Sao Paulo they were black belts. So it's all about time, you know. Last year most of the tough guys were purple belts, now they are brown belts. I mean like last year, yeah, in the beginning of last year, so I think very soon all of them will be black about it. So I mean like you can do the same level of training, you know? and when you train with all of them, man, it's a very tough training. <laughs> it's a very tough training, so. And uh, here, one of the best things, I have the opportunity to train for Marcelo as well, you know? so I have all the brown belts to train and Marcelo. It's super tough with Gi, it's five times our champion, but no Gi, I, I never row or competed against someone that's so good as him, you know, so, no, I think no Gi is one step over than everyone, you know. But uh, even if Gi is still super tough, it's a very tough training, it's five times our champion, nothing to say. But no, he's unbelievable. Looks like he's from other planets. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I want to keep learning all aspects of learning. Learning on the mat, learning Jiu-Jitsu, learning outside of the mat, you know, everything about Jiu-Jitsu, you know. So I want to keep learning and keep doing what I more love to do, you know, so. That, that's my goal and enjoy this time, you know, so I hope I keep doing well in the tournaments. One day I dream to have my school as well, so I, I just want to enjoy the time that I'm having, that is like a dream for me. <laughs>